Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you installing the official Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the first generation Moto E. Let's get started. Uh, first of all, go ahead and download all the files so uh, from the description below. So all the links in the description. So once you download all the files, go ahead and copy it on your desktop. So and then go ahead and copy all the zip files and uh, paste it to your Motorola Moto E. Now you can see all the files are successfully copied to your device, the CM13 file, the GApps file and the radio files which is required to fix the SIM card issue and the uh, obviously the root file. So uh, once it's done go ahead and go back to the location where the files are copied and this time now we need to rename the uh, TWRP which is recovery file obviously so rename it as recovery. Uh, and press enter so now the file has been successfully re uh, renamed and then after that we need to install the minimal adb and fastboot so because it is required to uh, flash the twrp using a fastboot mode so while installing the minimal and fastboot and adb so at the installation screen you're probably going to see the address and the location of the adb and fastboot go ahead and copy that and i will tell you why we need to copy that so and continue the installation process and do not launch the ADB and Fastbit now. So then go ahead, right click on the PC and go to the properties. When you go to the properties, you're going to see this window. So then go to the syst advanced system settings. Then go ahead and click on the environment variables. And at the, at the end of that, you're going to see the uh, system variables. So now inside system variables, you can see the path option. You can press a P on your keyboard and you can see the path. So then at the variable value you need to add a semicolon at the end of the page and press Control v to copy the address location and press ok. So what does this going to do is it allows your computer to access the adb and fastbit commands and try the system using the command prompt. So I'm going to be test uh, by typing the adb on my command prompt. So if I get the information about those the adb command so that means the command is successfully working uh, entire the system. So as well as I type the fastboot, the same thing works. It gives information about that command. So now we are uh, ready and we have successfully configured our system and we are ready to flash the recovery file uh, to our device. So then what we're going to do is at the top of the address bar we need to uh, press and type the CMD. Now we can see the CMD is open uh, following the location where all the files is there. So on your device as you can see I'm running on the official Android 5.1 uh, based from Motorola official software. So and I recommend you to be flash from Android 5.1. If you're coming from the Android 4.4 update to the Android 5.1 officially so and go ahead and turn off so if you don't update your device and uh, if you're trying to flash from 4.4 you will run into a random errors okay so once the device is successfully powered off go ahead and put your device into the fast beat mode by holding the power as well as the volume down at the same time so now hold that and get a four second and let the keys go on now you can see the device is in the fast beat mode so when you connect the device with USB cable, you're going to see the USB connector. So that means the drivers has been successfully installed on your computer. All the links in the description. So then back to the computer. This time you type the command called fastbit devices. This gives you information that the device is connected to the computer or not. So if you see the written value, that means saying some numbers. That means your device is connected successfully. So now then you need to type the command called fastboot flash recovery and recovery.img so this will going to be quickly flash uh, the uh, I mean TWRP to your mobile phone so now as you can see it successfully completed a flashing so once it's done go ahead and remove your USB cable then uh, press volume down to highlight the recovery and press volume up to confirm the recovery and this might be uh, boot back into the uh, recovery mode so now we can see the device is still booting on. So after that, you're gonna see the HEWRP uh, animation local. Now we can see. Go ahead and uh, allow all the modification. Then select the wipe and uh, swipe to factory reset. Then click on the home button. So then choose install and locate your zip files. And uh, uh, this is uh, first. You need to flash the CM13 only. Then swipe to confirm flash. 
so then after that uh, we're gonna be flash the Z app so one by one so do not flash the two fla two zip files at a time so I tested it and it might gonna be throw some errors I don't know why and anyway so as you can see it's almost done uh, copying the CM13 so once it's done copying go ahead and again click on the home button to go back to the main menu of the DWRP then click on install then choose the Google Apps this time so on swipe to confirm flash so now you can see the Google Apps is almost done successfully and click on the reboot now to reboot the, the latest version Android 6.4 based on Sinus 13 so this is an official version so and it is very very faster compared with the lollipop it's really amazing onto the first generation of Moto and it's running a very very battery smooth I say so now you can see it's almost done and you can see the apps are optimizing to the latest version of Android 6.0 so this process we're going to be take a time and be patient and uh, now as you can see it's almost there and once the optimizing apps is done you probably gonna see the uh, main uh, entrance I mean to say the setup screen of the uh, CM13 now as you can see the CM13 is successfully uh, loaded and now go ahead and select your language and I'm gonna be fast forwarding the setup process so all right now you can see the home screen of the cm13 so let me go ahead and go to the settings i'm going to show you the version if i go to the about phone now we can see the device model is the moto e and the android 6.0.1 and if i tap on that obviously you get the easter egg and if you hold it and you're going to see the flappy style game so I saw some uh, error is going on so when after flashing the CM13 so my device actually failed to recognize the sim card so this happens and uh, there is a patch is there and to flash it via recovery so but before that what we're gonna do is uh, go to the uh, settings and choose about phone and tap the build number for seven times until you see a developer settings on the uh, settings so you can see the developer settings has been successfully added about the about phone so then select the advanced reboot so what this is going to do is i'm not going to be put you bothering again to hold the power and volume down to boot into the recovery so simply you can get the options to boot into the recovery so once the device is boot back into the recovery so this time we need to flash the radio zip file so uh, the previously we copied all the zip files so you can see the TWRP radio zip file so now we can see the zip file it's a TWRP XT1022 a retail and a radio zip file so on flash and swap to confirm flash so now once it's successfully flashed go ahead and click on the reboot system so on your system we're going to be boot back to the CM13 again so then after that you're going to be see and uh, give a some time and you can see the device is started detecting my sim card as you can see it's idea it shows on the top of the status bar and that's how we can install the android 6.0 marshmallow so if you really like this video please give a thumbs up button down there it's really appreciated and thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more videos like this until then bye bye